Hey everybody, this is Ed. Welcome to the Evercade Effect. And so today, we're going to fix Donut Dodo uh, for Evercade. Going to kind of show you some of the issues, how it did work perfectly on the EXP and on the VS for the game of the month. Going to compare it to the PC version and whatnot. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And um, before we go ahead and put this uh, in the VS, which by the way works the same on the EXP, we're going to go ahead and take a look at when this came out, the game of the month, uh, a while back. And I just want to show you, uh, so this is a video that I had made, uh, as you know, when it, when it did come out. And I just want to show you at the time how when we load into the game, notice that when we go into the menu, it's going to load, a, it's going to load perfectly. And uh, this might just be a little bit weird because you'll see me up there, but I did just want to show how it was once working so we're gonna get into there and yeah these are these are just the the options that we have really there's not much options on and we'll talk about this a little bit more when i show the pc port of this how uh, the, the other options that we have here and i guess i was just kind of scrolling through that but notice i'm going to put in a credit and then i'm going to go ahead and do run and notice it loads right away right there's no delay and that's important so that's the first thing that i did want to go ahead and talk about um so let's go ahead and stop this. And now what I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this cart here into the VS. And we're going to start up the same way. And you'll see exactly, um, you know, what I mean. All righty. So the VS is just loading up. You should see it here in a moment. There we go. Okay. So I just wanted to show, yes, I've got the Indie Heroes Collection 3 in here. And now we're going to go down to Donut Dodo. We're gonna start it up, and it'll 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 start up normally, and then we're gonna go under and start the game itself, and you'll see the delay that I'm talking about. And uh, it's interesting to note that you know we didn't have this when this was game of the month. Okay, so so far everything is normal, but now that we have it on the cart, it is this way. And again, you might be thinking I'm nitpicking at it, but when you're trying to do a speed run and all that. It is very annoying. And I will just pick the easy, medium, or just so you can see. Notice the delay? See the delay? And it does this between levels as well. That's the other important thing I wanted to point out, is that when you beat a level, it does this delay. And it is just really, really uh, super annoying. Now you can see, you know, here I am. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm actually going to go ahead and, and beat this level. And um, then you're going to see exactly what happens that it does the same exact thing between levels. And again, it's pointing out that it didn't do this when we had it at the game of the month. Okay, so I went ahead and I just paused it right before I'm about to beat the first level. And then we'll go back and we'll take a look at my, my YouTube video here. Okay. So now we'll see. see and we'll see and you can see it's taking a little bit now it's loading into the you know like level construction site yeah okay so you may think that um you know that I'm, I'm nitpicking at it but when you're doing a speed run it's just it, it's very annoying and it doesn't happen on the pc version and you'll see here in a moment this didn't used to happen so let's go ahead and take a look now let me go ahead and load up my youtube video back and um yeah let me go ahead and hit play and you'll see. So I beat the level, stage one, stage one complete. And I'll title it my score. And then you'll see it's just going to load into it right away. There's no there's no delay between the levels. See? And now it loads up in, into it, you know, right away here. So yeah, it's it's just interesting that it used to work perfectly fine on the EXP and on the VS. And now on the VS, it does, right? There's there's that delay just starting the game and going in between levels, which if you're just a casual gamer, you know, you, you may not care. But if you're playing it and trying to speed run it like I do, it, it does get quite it does get quite annoying, especially when you have to restart levels. Every time you go ahead and do a restart, you have to wait. And it's just it's enough, just enough to kind of ruin it. Now, keep in mind that, well, there is a way around this, which we're gonna get into because there is. <laughs> There is a solution to where you can play this game on Evercade, yes, without the delay, but we'll get into that. Uh, I do want to go ahead and take a look and compare 
some of the PC features that I, that, that I think are missing that would make this a little bit more great. So now let me go ahead and I'm going to be running this on Steam Deck. We're going to take a look at that and then we'll go back and then I'll show you the kind of the solution that I've used uh, to work around this here. All righty. So now let's go ahead and switch over to my Steam Deck just to show you guys. Okay. So here we go. I have it here. And I'm using, you know, an Xbox controller. So again, this is not on the Evercade. Go ahead and start it up. It'll take it a moment. And we'll go ahead and replicate the same thing. And you'll see that this works just fine like the VS did. So you may notice something right off the bat. We have these cool border options, right? Um, so let me go ahead and let's talk about that. Oh. Did not mean to start a game. Let me switch back out. But at least the good news is I can do quick. You can do quick restart or go to main menu. See, it loads it right back here. Um, so did want to point out that we do have we have online leaderboards. So yes, that, if that wasn't obvious, that is an, that is another uh, feature that is missing. I mean, Evercade does have online play. We don't have online leaderboards. It's not tapped, you know, into this leaderboard, which I think would be great. So that's one thing that's missing. Um, you know. So if we go ahead and go back, but let's go into the options. So now you see we have a buttload more options. We have like full scale, you can do scale one, <laughs> and you can change the aspect ratio and all that, which I haven't left at 16.9 because I like the way that it looks with the uh, with the borders. You can turn on a CRT filter. Kind of strange that they remove that. And if you really want to, you can do medium burn. You know, I don't know why they remove the you know CRT filter. I, I personally don't like to use CRT filters. But they removed it, and then for, you know, neutral, you have a black background off. Or illustrated, and again, I don't know why we don't have this. We know that the Evercade can easily do borders. I mean, it has default borders. I don't know why, being this is a native game, we don't have it. And then, of course, you see the similar options of screen flash, screen shake. I turn those off. I understand we don't have vibration support because Evercade controllers don't. But, um, yeah. And you'll see I'll insert a coin again. Go back in here, and then you'll see it starts up. It starts up instantly, and then when you beat the level, you know, it also it also loads up instantly. So we don't, you know, we don't have these issues uh, here on, you know, here on the PC. Of course, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go ahead and go through it and beat it again. But you get, you know, you, you get the idea uh, that we're really missing some features. So maybe it might be a stretch to ask for the leaderboards. I don't know. The Evercade is already set up. I wonder. If the you know if the one that's on Steam if that ties in to like if that's just one general leaderboard or if Steam is on separate but again it would have been nice to tie into that we don't have borders um, Evercade version it, it it did load you know didn't have the issues with the loading when we had it as game of the month but now that it's on the cart we have those delays which is interesting all right so you're probably wondering how do we fix all this well you may have noticed that there was a recent update for the Super Pocket. Now, this does run perfectly fine on the Super Pocket with the updates because apparently, uh, you know, the, the jump button wasn't working and they also fixed Cathedral. But let's say you also want to play this and you want to hook it up to a TV. Well, I have the solution for you and we're going to go ahead and take a look at this right now. So you can see my OG, <laughs> the white Evercade is behind me, is missing and I have it here. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the Indie Heroes cart into it and we're going to fire it up. And I think this will surprise you, right? So... You can see I've got it here, got the cart. There's no trickery or anything like that. Put it in here. And then we'll talk about, you know, if you should have to play it like this and why, you know, why it isn't fixed and, and all that. So let's go ahead and let's start up Donut Dodo. And you'll see that it'll start. It loads up. And again, I'm, I'll, I'll pick the same, see? I'll pick easy medium. See, and look, it loads instantly, right? No issues here at all. No issues, and actually, you know, it works great. You know, just you played it in handheld mode, you're not going to be able to see it you know, on, the, on such a great screen unless unless you have the purple Evercade. It's a little bit better. So now watch this. I'll do a quick restart, and it restarts instantly. All right. And um, I used it. So I went ahead and I used this method when I was streaming when I was streaming last, and I was trying to go ahead. And, you know, do speed runs for the fun of it because I found that it was just, for me, it was just so annoying that in between, in between the levels when you're trying to play and then you just, you just, you, you lose your momentum or at least I do, right? 
So the temporary fix, if you happen to have an OG Evercade, use that. It works great. There's no other. There's no other issues. You can plug it into HDMI. You can play it on a bigger screen. And plus, the, the handheld feels really nice in the hand. It's you know, one of my most favorite ways uh, to play Evercade. Um, but I'll save that for another you know another video. But uh, otherwise, if you're playing this on the EXP or the VS, if you pause the menu, load into the game, load between the levels, yeah, you're not you're you're, you're not you're not going to have a good time. And um, you know, it's just. I kind of just have mixed feelings about this because this did work fine with Game of the Month. I don't know if it's one of those issues where this is the way it is in order for it to work on the OG Evercade and the Super Pocket, which is a shame because those are your lower end cheaper devices. I mean, the OG Evercade isn't supported anymore. And it's just, I don't know. It's For me, it's just kind of a slap in the face for the customers who have a VS and, and an EXP. I assume it'll have the same issues on the EXPR and the VSR and the Evercade Alpha. It blazes and fix this. Uh, they are aware of the issue. And again, it's, it's a minor issue for some people. But for me, this is like one of my favorite all-time games. And it plays perfectly on everything else. So it's like, why, 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 why? So yes, we can we can fix it by playing it on the OG handheld, but we shouldn't have to. Not only that, it's baffling to me as to why we don't have borders uh, on there like we, like we do on the PC version. I think at the very least, we should have that. It might be a stretch to go ahead and have you know, online leaderboards, but I think it'd be great. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Does something like this bother you at all? Do you care? Am I being too, too super specific? You know, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd really like to hear your thoughts and opinions. And, um, you know, thank you so much to all my, all my channel members and everything else. And one other thing that I uh, just did want to point out, uh, but for the time being, um, I'm no longer doing the PO box. So I've closed that. So please don't send me anything to the PO box. I won't be able to get it. Uh, but I did have a lot of fun, and I do appreciate everyone who donated a thing to the channel. Um, right now, life is just busy, and I don't have as much time uh, to deal with that. Uh, but we may bring it back in the future. And if you happen to stumble in here through the YouTube verse, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps the channel out. I stream a couple times a week. We have Evercast, a dedicated Evercade fan podcast, and you're not going to want to miss you know, any Evercade, breaking news, and all that. Uh, so I really would appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for watching, and bye bye Thanks, Crash Line, Mr. Shua, Immortal Surgeon, Sucker MC, Ember Cummings, Joe Whiplash! <laughs>